Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draculich and in this video tutorial I would like to show you an alternative way uh, for sharpening uh, your images uh, by using a, a handmade uh, that, that is made by you, um, by yourself, uh, a filter, high pass filter. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. You might already know that by default, when I want to sharpen an image, I could use the default sharpening uh, filter, which in GIMP are uh, in the uh, if you go up here to the filters, enhance either sharpen or unsharp mask. And the unsharp mask is the best of those two. But in our case, I would like to show you an alternative way for sharpening your, image, your images. Uh, by using what we call a high pass filter and the high pass filter actually is nothing more than a, a, a filter that uh, uh, in those areas here where you have a, a great contrast between like here uh, between shadows and highlights then it creates something kind of a, a high uh, of, a, of an edge detecting effect so it uh, brightens up those areas here those uh, like a line something and uh, and in those areas here you, where you have a, a smooth transition between the tonal values it gives you a gray you know a flat gray color so in a way it works kind of an edge detecting filter but it's useful for a couple of uh, purposes amongst which is the uh, also the sharpening of the image so I, I want to show you by default uh, GIMP does not provide you a high pass filter and you can always download this as a, a plugin and i'm going to hopefully at a later tutorial i'm going to show you where to find those uh, uh, high pass filters filter plugins available for gimp from the web and how you can install them all right but in this tutorial i want to show you how you can make your own uh, custom handmade uh, plugin uh, high pass filter you know uh, high pass filter for use for uh, for for sharpening uh, uh, your images. All right, so uh, let's go ahead to the uh, from up here. Let's go ahead to the uh, to the layers uh, uh, palette or dialog. And having enabled your uh, your layer, just go ahead and duplicate the layer. All right. So this layer now, uh, the second layer, the top layer. I want to go to filters and apply a blur Gaussian blur filter. And I want to, uh, by default, it's set to horizontal, uh, horizontal and vertical blur radius is set to five. You can keep this radius if you want, but you can go for a higher radius, something like 14 perhaps. All right, okay. So now I have blurred uh, this image here, this layer, excuse me. So now uh, having blurred this layer, I go ahead and I I'm, I'm going to invert the colors and you can do this either by using the curves as I have shown you at another uh, at the previous videos uh, video so colors colors curves and you just go ahead and uh, you know uh, invert the uh, this line here so you have inverted it manually or just go to colors and invert your image all right that's uh, about the same okay so now that you have inverted this uh, blurred uh, here a uh, layer uh, go ahead and add yet another layer duplicate the layer the background layer the original layer duplicate it one more time all right and now mix this uh, invert color this uh, uh, this negative if you prefer layer with the uh, layer underneath using an opacity for this negative layer an opacity of exactly 50 percent so I'm typing 50 here so I have mixed those two and now right click on this negative layer and, and, and select merge down. All right, so you actually are merging this with the layer underneath, with the, this layer, the duplicated layer. All right, so merge down. Okay, now I have actually, this is a high pass filter. All right, what we have here, this is the high pass filter that you will get from a plugin. All right, almost. Now go uh, ahead and uh, having enabled this, uh, let's say, high pass filter uh, layer here, just go ahead and change the, uh, here it is the technique of how you can sharpen your, ima your image underneath, just go ahead and change the blend mode from normal 
to overlay all right so if i now hide this layer you can see already my image is sharpened all right and uh, if you want to play a little bit this is the uh, the nice thing with this technique you can always go ahead and adjust a curves uh, so color curves uh, you know uh, uh, here uh, you know uh, some curves here uh, dialog and you can play with the curves and you can see now I want to say you first reset the channel you you want to work at the values uh, at the value channel and you want to just here in the at the center you want to make to add a point here so go ahead just around somewhere here add a point here okay and you want to add this point because you don't want to move this uh, you know where is the peak here you don't want to move because you would alter the tonality of your image you don't want this you would alter the mid tone so reset the channel make add the point here and just play for this a high pass color filter with the uh, with the shadows uh, shadows node here or anchor and just play with the highlights anchor so by changing those right you immediately can see that you are changing the sharpening as you can see here of your image take a look here all right so by changing the shadows uh, control point uh, by changing the highlights control point you can effectively change the sharpening of your image so now you can play around with this and you can have exactly the sharpening that you uh, effect that you prefer it's like adjusting something like adjusting the radius and the threshold in the unsharp mask uh, filter so i uh, this is how you can make you can make your own handmade uh, unsharp mask filter if you don't have the plugin Later on, at a later tutorial, hopefully, I will show how to, to install the plugin. But if you if you prefer this method, go ahead and use this method instead. It's about the same, and you can now sharpening sh sharpen in a nice, effortless way uh, your images. Okay, so let's click OK, and now if you see the difference, if I hide this high pass uh, filter layer here, you can see how my image. Uh, our image was before and now look at the difference all right it has been sharpened up quite a bit all right that was for today hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this see you next time with another hopefully soon ho with another hopefully interesting tutorial if you like this don't forget to subscribe so see you next time until then have fun and goodbye